What hit us? Small asteroid fragments. An asteroid on a collision course to planet Earth? It may sound straight out of a science fiction movie. But NASA says this drama could be real. It's like being an outfielder at Fenway, where you hear the crack of the bat and you see the ball has left the bat, and you know it's a fly ball. But you don't know if it's to center field, left field, or right field. And basically for this asteroid, we're barely off the crack of the bat. Astronomers first spotted the asteroid named 2024 YR4 back in December. The sizable space rock stretching up to 330 feet long, at least the size of the Statue of Liberty, and big enough to do catastrophic damage on impact. We as a community have to decide how we move forward with that. After studying YR4's orbit and trajectory, scientists warned the asteroid could be on a path toward Earth with potential impact by 2032. Initially putting those odds low, now saying the chances have more than doubled from just 1% to 2.3%. The probability number is going to wiggle around a little bit. But experts say we shouldn't panic. How worried should we be right now? This is an object that merits uh, tracking by astronomers, merits our attention, and that's simply what we're doing. So what could it look like if we hit rock bottom? Well, YR4 is about the same size as a meteorite that created the massive Barrier Crater in Arizona 50,000 years ago. In 1908, a similarly sized asteroid plunged into Earth's atmosphere before exploding over Siberia. Witnesses reported massive forest fires and millions of trees flattened for miles. At some point, a large asteroid killed the dinosaurs, but that kind of even only happens every few hundred million years. And the asteroid we're looking at right now would only cause very localized damage. In 2022, NASA successfully proved it could change the trajectory of an asteroid using a spacecraft called DART, something that could be useful if YR4 starts heading too close. For now, the massive space rock is traveling away from Earth. In April, telescopes will get their last chance to spot it until it comes back into view in 2028. So it's a race against the clock for experts to study its every move, because when YR4 is back in our sights, it could be too close for comfort. Kathy Park is joining us now. I cannot stress this enough, right? It is a point that one of the experts made in that story there. This merits attention from astronomers, right? Like this merits keeping an eye on it. It does not merit all of us going out and like panic buying apocalypse, you know, supplies. Like this is not a freak out thing. It's like something kind of interesting that's like space nerds are keeping an eye on. Is that fair? That's like a fair characterization? Yeah, absolutely. So I spoke with experts from MIT who specialize in asteroid research, and they don't appear to be too concerned. And among this group was the creator of the Torino scale. And if you haven't heard of it, it actually measures a danger level of asteroids. So the scale goes from zero to 10, zero meaning no likelihood of a collision to Earth, and 10 just would be catastrophic. Right now, YR4 is ranked at three, which means it's something to be watched closely, okay. but nothing to worry about, Hallie. Would it not just, like, it, it could burn up, up, right, <laughs> if it did enter the atmosphere? Right, because... Back years ago, as you saw in Siberia, 1908, that's exactly what it did when it entered the Earth's atmosphere. It just kind of um, exploded, but also did some, some damage because there were remnants of that asteroid. But, but hopefully that, that won't be the case in 2032. Kathy Park, uh, let's book you again for a conversation in 2032. As this thing is either getting closer or not. Okay. Kathy Park, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.